I'm thinking I can maybe get uh, the motor out of here. Okay, we're in. Alright, so anything we want is gonna be heavy. Give it, we may have to counterweight this thing. I just so happen to have a, a giant treadmill motor. <laughs> is how much is that flywheel? Flywheel way. So let's see if we can't slim this thing down and put it on diet. Fuck you! Fuck! Why are you not fucking? Hey, welcome back. So last time you saw this pouring smoke out of it. So we we've done boogered this up, but good. How are we gonna? What are we gonna do? How are we gonna fix this? We need to. We need to mill things. We need to finish this. Whatever will we do? And and we're cheap. We don't want to spend money. What do we do? Well, I have the solution. <laughs> How much does it weigh? How much am I gonna have to counterbalance this? So, if only we had a way to measure the weight. Oh, hey, a bathroom scale. Now I know all of us keep a bathroom scale in their garage for weighing things. Who doesn't? 13 pounds. All right. Question is, how much is that fly flywheel weigh? My guess, a lot. So let's see if we can't slim this thing down and put it on a diet. So this timing belt puller is the only thing I have with a shot of taking this off. The problem being is there's no this isn't a timing belt and there are no drill and tapped holes for to receive this. Nor I guess we could through bolt it. But getting back into there could be problematic. So so what we will do is we will drill and tap for whatever this is. Crap! 5 16 18. I don't think I have that tap. So went deep, pulled out my dad's old uh, set of Japanese uh, taps, and uh, we have ourselves a 5 16 18. Okay, so I'm man enough to admit when I make a mistake. So I drilled and tapped these two holes thinking, oh, I gotta pull this off, it's press fit, but no. 1.3, I got to thinking about that. I was like, that's not 1.3 millimeters. What is it? That's a thread. Yeah, so this is a threaded connection. You can see the beginnings of it right there. She's a wee bit dirty in there. Which is probably my fault, because I just drilled and tapped a whole bunch of schmoo into there. Yeah. Although that is not all me. Okay, let's see how much, you, how much less she weighs. Alright. Still pretty girthy, but uh, we're down four pounds. Not too shabby. Alright, so you might be asking yourself, well, how much does the motor on that weigh? <laughs> I'll tell you. Alright, with mount, it is three pounds. That means we are adding six pounds to this, plus whatever we make the mount out of. Six pounds enough. I think we'll be okay. If not, we'll rig up something to like lift it up. Or maybe something pneumatic underneath to push it back up. I don't know. We'll see. But now the next question becomes how to mount. Hmm. Pull back. It's gonna have to be out to the side. For sure. Or maybe not. Maybe we can get away with... Is there enough space here? Especially if we... Can we just deem... Kind of like... Drill it. Can we drill? Hmm. What if we... Cut off all this... And we drill and tap here... We come down, so we offset up, way, so we're going to offset up, and we're going to have the motor right here, driving this. Question is, what do we drive all of this with? Hmm. Hmm. Alright, so now we just need to draw out this hole we marked. Ah. Cheddar. 
All right. Two holes, roughly, where they need to be. You know, it's for situations like this that we learn that man is not supposed to live by mill alone, but by every word that comes out of his drill press. You know, right about now would be an awesome time to have a working mill. <laughs> Now we have a good idea of where this should be on the shaft. I think I'm going to file a little flat spot on here uh, for this to give it a little more positive traction. See that or not, but we've got a bit of a flat spot on there. Uh, it could probably be a little bit deeper. Let's not be lazy. Let's not be lazy now. Alright, so how's everybody's day going? Huh? Oh, pretty well. Mine could have been better. I mean, I did just stab myself with this file. It could be better. My day could be better. But hey, look at me. I am upgrading my own mill here in my my base, my little workshop. My six-month-old is upstairs. He just went to bed. He hasn't woken up after doing all this loud noise. And yes, his bedroom is right above the garage that I'm in. Oh, and yes, the wife is, she's out, uh, and about, oh gosh, she, she watches these, doesn't she, <gasps> and, uh, honey, honey, um, what I meant to say was, uh, baby's upstairs playing in his, uh, in his little jumper thing, and we're gonna go to bed here shortly, yeah, that's it. Ah. Ah. All right, so yeah, this, you, you, ah, tighten her until she snaps, and then you've gone far enough. And I think we're good, yeah, let's do this. Let's put this bad boy together. Oh, so close, so close. I wanted to build this bracket uh, for the new motor out of readily available stuff and, and do it in such a way that, uh, you know, a drill press, a hand file, and... Uh, you know, what do you call those things? You, you hack away with it, but you're sawing. It's, a, it's like a like a saw hack. Nah, a hack saw. There we are. So the, these brackets, uh, the steel, repurposed. That's right. This here is 100%. Uh, someone threw out their bed frame. You know those metal ones? I think it's like an inch and a half, inch and a half, eighth inch, it's eighth inch thick mild steel painted. So that's all this is. I cut off some two inch long sections, uh, filed them, drilled them, tapped them, uh, had some quarter 20 bolts lying around that, uh, and you know, just came up with a design. If you, uh, if you want more specifics, I, I could be persuaded, i.e. leave a comment down below, um, and, and yeah, I can, I can whip up something, give you some dimensions on this stuff, um, and let you go at it. Because I'm an equal opportunity stabber, you know? I mean, I'm, I alone should not be getting stabbed. You should be out there doing it too, you know, having fun, getting stabbed. I mean, by yourself, not by, not by other people. We don't do, no, I'm not, I'm, and nor am I advocating you go out and stab anybody. That would just be silly. You saw this before. This is nothing new. This is nothing groundbreaking or revolutionary. It is just two bolts that kind of act like a linear slide. Um, and then use compression and friction to keep it in place. Now, once this is a proven setup, I think what I'll do is uh, go ahead and get me some uh, Loctite or maybe a jam nut for here. That could possibly be very helpful. 
can't wait to get this thing going again because you know what? I can't. I just, the whole time I'm building this thing, I can't help but think, man, if only I had a mill. This would be all these slots and the filing and the profiles and the curves. So it would have been so easy. Maybe it would have taken longer, but it would have looked so much better, and I wouldn't have been stabbed in the thumb. All right. So we use the original mounting holes. We haven't touched this at all. We haven't drilled into it. So everything's stock. We can go back to using the stock motor if we ever get one. And that was kind of the that was the plan. Sure it was. That was the plan. Which one of you hid my quarter twenty bolt? Where, where is it? If you tell me now, I won't get mad. Ah, there it is. Thank you. What we got is we got a bit of reflective tape and we have a photo tachometer that supposedly is accurate. I doubt it is, but let's see what the results are. Uh, 1744 RPM. <laughs> All right. 1800. Halfway is about 2,000, so it's proportional. Quarter of the way should be 1,000 RPM. Exciting times ahead. Seriously, this is going to be awesome. I'm, I'm, I'm pumped. Let's do this. Woo! Oh, I'm going to call this a success. We have data. We have a motor. We just need to cut something, so stay tuned. <laughs> We're going to cut something with a treadmill motor. Ah!